Okay, I don't want this to fall over. Hey everyone! Bonjour! Hi! C'est parti! Hi Tori! <laughs> Tres kilos de pasta. You see? Some of my learning tips at home are... Okay, so... <laughs> Hi, I'm Lorena. We all know the best way to learn a foreign language is actually to live in a foreign country because your brain gets input all the time and is working without you noticing. This is not always possible, especially right now when we're all staying inside. Let's see how we can recreate this immersion at home. Take a post-it, write the word in the target language on it and just stick it on the thing you have at home. You can do this on everything, more or less everything. The daily exposure will help your brain to retain the words. I'm Yalina. My language learning tips are that you try to include the language you're learning into your everyday life. You can change your phone's language, write your shopping list for the supermarket in the language you're learning. Hi everyone, my name is Geraldine. A good tip that I found very effective is to actually read a book you've already read in your own language. You could read Harry Potter in another language. I did that in French, Spanish and English and my next goal is to read them in German. If you like yoga, I'm sure you can find a yoga instructor that gives you a class in Spanish on YouTube. If you like to cook, you can stick to a recipe in French or even find a cooking show in French. Just don't worry about making mistakes. Hi, I'm Antonia. I work at Chatterbug and help with the curriculum. I highly recommend following some meme pages on Instagram. While you're just scrolling through your phone, you could maybe read some memes in Spanish, see if you can figure them out, because usually they're quite easy to digest and quite easy to understand, and you usually also have like a little visual to go with it. Hi, I'm Danielle. Before working with Chatterbug, I was an English teacher, and one of the things I used to always tell my students was make sure you incorporate language learning in your everyday life and make sure you use it with things that you already enjoy. Playing games. My husband and I are huge Monopoly players. One of his grand ideas for this time was to use a Monopoly game, but in German. We already know the game and all the rules. This is just a way for us to sort of practice because we already are familiar with the game. We know intuitively what the cards are about. Practice every day for about 10 minutes, even if it's just reading over the vocabulary list you've made or watching or listening to a video. My name is Megan and I'm the head of community at Chatterbug. Well, obviously, trying to expose yourself to as much of the language as possible. If you have a partner that speaks the language that you're trying to learn, try to dedicate either a day of the week to speaking only that language or a room in your household. We tried the kitchen. Every time we would go in the kitchen, we would speak German only. It is definitely something that I think is super helpful in just trying to force yourself to speak that target language. The more that you practice and the more that you speak get, the better at that language you're going to become. My name is Scott Chacon, I'm the CEO of Chatterbug. My personal tips for learning a language at home, other than using Chatterbug of course, is to watch TV shows and movies on the internet. So you're probably already doing that, you're probably watching Netflix or Amazon Prime or something, but you may not know that a lot of those shows have uh, language tracks in other languages. You could, for example, watch a movie that you already know well or a TV series that you already know well in German or in Spanish or in French. Also, if you can't find a movie or a TV show in the language you want to, uh, you can sign up for Amazon Prime DE. So go to amazon.de or something and sign up for a German account or for a Spanish account. Amazon Prime will have the videos in that language more than amazon.com, for example. Hi, I'm Tori. I recommend doing a bit of reading in your target language every day. It doesn't have to be serious or overcomplicated. It can be something super lighthearted that's about celebrity gossip, animals, fun quizzes or something. I have BuzzFeed in German downloaded on my phone, so in those moments of procrastination or just in search of something a bit lighthearted, I open up the app and it's already in German. The vocabulary is really easy. Not only am I learning, I'm also being entertained at the same time. Hi guys, I'm Anne. I'm gonna learn Spanish with the 
platform. When I'm too tired to talk to humans over video chat, then here's my number one at home language learning tip. Instead of talking to a human, you just talk to your cat. It's great because he doesn't talk back, he doesn't judge you, and we can talk Spanish all day long.